All right, so let's look at this question here. They're saying let j be equals to 1, 2, 3, and k be equals to 2, 3, 4. Write down in roster form the power sets of j and k. Okay, so what is the power set? Okay, so a power set is simply the list of all the subsets of a given set. So let's say set j there, what we've been given there. Okay. So if we are able to list all the subsets that we can get from this set J, that would be our power set. Okay. So let's get all the subsets from this set. Okay. So the first one. Okay. So we're going to say power set of J is equals to, and then we list all the subsets of this set. So the first one will just have one. Okay. The second one will just have two. Uh, the third one will just have three okay and then the other one will be a combination of one and two the other one will be a combination of one and three let me write that properly so we have one and three okay and then the other combination will be two and three okay two and three um and then we have uh, the whole the, the set itself so one two three and then we have the empty set okay so these here what i've listed there they are the possible subsets that i can get from set j okay so um they have one two three four five six seven eight members okay so the subsets are eight. So remember the formula that we used to use when we are finding the number of subsets. We said we used to use uh, two to the power n, where this n was the number of elements in this set. So in this set, we can see we have three elements, right? So it means the number of subsets will just be two to the power three, which will be eight. Okay. So when we count these subsets here, they are eight. So the most important thing to note is that when you are finding the power sets, okay. The set itself is also a subset of itself. And then even the empty set is also a subset of the original set. Okay, so those uh, that is the power set of set J. Okay, let's write down the power set of set K. So set K has two. Okay, let me put the correct brackets here. Set K has two, three, four. Okay. So how can we list its power set? So we're going to say power set of k is equals to, okay? So the two itself, the three itself, the four itself. Okay, let's combine the two and the three. So we have two and three, and then we can combine the two and the four. Okay, and then we can combine now the three and the four. And then we can get the whole set, which is two, three, and then four. And then we can also get the empty set. Okay, so this here is the power set of set K. So we've done part A there, where they are saying uh, power sets of K and, and J. Okay, so B now, they're saying um, find or write down, okay, okay, so the question is coming from here. Write down in roster form, okay, the power set of the intersection of J and K. Okay, so we are looking for the intersection of J and K. So meaning uh, the numbers that uh, are on, let me say the, the members, okay, these are not numbers because th these here are listed as members. So we are looking for the members that will be in both the, the power set of J and the power set of what? K. Okay, the power set of the intersection of J and K. So we can get them from just these ones that we've listed, or if we want, we can first find J intersection K. So what is J intersection K? J intersection K, we are going to have two and three. Okay, so now let's write the power set of this. So we're going to say power set of J intersection K. Okay, on and match. So this is going to be equals to um, the power set. Okay, we can have the two itself. 
we can have the 3 itself then we can have the 2 combining with the 3 okay and then um, what else can we have from there we can have uh, the empty set okay so we see that we had two members in this set so meaning the number of subsets would just be 2 to the power 2 which is 4 we can see that the subset here are just 4 so the power set is just a list of all the possible subset of that uh, set so I found uh, the B there and then here on the last one they're saying find the cardinality of the power set of J union K okay so it means there we have to find the power set of um, of uh, of J union K and then we count the elements okay in that uh, we can we find the, we, we, we find the elements of, of, of of that set okay so the cardinality it means the number of subsets so we are going to be using this formula here that I've been using okay all right so let's let's find first of all the union of set P and the set K there is that set uh, set J I mean not set K okay so the set J and the set K there all right so let's find the union so we're going to say J union K is just going to be equals to okay one two three and then four okay so to find the cardinality here the cardinality simply means the number of subsets of this set j union k so we're going to say number of subsets or the cardinality is the same thing it's just going to be equals to two to the power n where n is the number of elements here so the number of elements here is just four so two to the power four is going to give me 16 so the cardinality of the power set of j union k will just be what 16 all right so let's solve another question on this same cardinality thing okay so number four they're saying write down the power set of one comma two comma three comma four so notice that this here is a set okay notice that that is the set so how are we going to write the power set okay all right so we're going to write say the power set of this set let's name this set a okay so the power set of set a remember we are saying we are listing all the subset in this um, set okay so remember that this 3 comma 4 we are taking it as one entity here okay because it's a part of this set okay so it means this set here has three elements so it's supposed to have how many subsets eight okay so we're going to say three to the two to the power three that would be eight so we have to list down eight subsets here okay so it means we've already stated its cardinality there the cardinality is just eight okay so now let's let's uh, list the subset so the first one will be the one alone okay the second one will be the two alone the third one will be this set alone because it's a it's an element there okay so that set alone okay I'm going to write it like this so notice how I'm writing it right because it's an element there okay so we have to put it between these two carry brackets just the, just like the way we've done to the two the way we've done to the one there we've, we've put them between these two carry brackets here even this set uh, three comma four we're going to put it uh, in carry brackets okay and then the next one we can combine one and two so it would be one combined by two and then we can also combine two I mean we can also combine one and this set here so we can say one comma the set three comma four okay comma and then we can combine two with that same set so two I mean three comma four okay so what is remaining now with uh, just the whole set Okay, so the whole set is also a subset so we're going to write it comma two and then we have three comma four like that and then we write uh, the empty set like that okay 
So let's count this set to see if there are eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven, eight. Okay, so we are done. So that's uh, the power set of this set with where, where we named it as A. And then the cardinality will just be 2 to the power 3, which will just be what? 8 subset. Alright, so that's all for this video. Please like, subscribe, and share to your friends. Okay, for those who want extra lessons, you can subscribe using the number in the description below where I'm pointing there. Alright.